people are 50 meters deep in the ocean. At these extreme depths, anything can happen. To become deep diving certified is a risky endeavor. No matter what swims your way, don't panic. It could cost you your life. On today's challenge, you'll train to dive deeper than you've ever gone before. This is your body on becoming a deep sea diver. This is Ahmed Gabir. He broke the scuba world record by diving 332.35 meters into the Red Sea. He reached that depth within 12 minutes. But it took him 15 hours to return to the surface. He had to protect himself from various risks due to water pressure. So, how was he able to accomplish this feat? As you dive deeper for this challenge, you'll wear a hot water suit to keep you warm. Grab your oxygen tank and let's go. Buddy, hey, George Michael. You've done it again. There it is. Deep breath, buddy. Your oxygen tank contains a mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, and traces of other gases, but your body will release nitrogen as it doesn't need it. So when pressure suddenly drops in the ocean, nitrogen gas inside your body expands and develops into bubbles in your shoulders, elbows, knees, and ankles. If you surface too quickly, you'll get what's known as the bends or decompression sickness. You could feel many symptoms from aching joints to headaches. To safely decompress, you would take one minute to get to the surface. At 18 meters, you're not a beginner anymore, but rapid air consumption is another risk you could face. The air you breathe becomes denser the deeper you dive. You'll consume more air than at shallower depths so you'd better monitor your pressure gauge constantly. Congrats, you're officially deep diving. But once you swim deeper than 30 meters, the increased pressure can alter the gases you're inhaling. If you feel euphoric and disoriented, don't mistake this for excitement. You might be experiencing nitrogen narcosis. It's also called the martini effect because, well, you might look a little tipsy. You might have trouble functioning properly at these depths. You could forget to check your oxygen tank or you may rise to the surface too quickly. Errors like these can result in death. Okay, you're now at 49 meters underwater. It's not recreational diving anymore. You'll be tasked with performing a set of challenges, like tying knots. Well done! You'll also descend to the bottom and walk a short distance. You might think it's pretty easy to do, but the euphoria of nitrogen narcosis can make it quite challenging. Ha! You made it! You're now officially a deep sea diver. You will be able to dive where so few people ever go and see things some people can only imagine. You'll have to perform safety stops during your ascent. That will allow the amount of dissolved nitrogen in your tissues to decrease before reaching the surface. Now, if you train properly, you might be able to go down to 332 meters, just like Ahmed Gabir did. Oh, you don't want to return to the surface yet? No! Well, how about spending 24 hours underwater then? We'll see what that challenge brings on another episode of Your Body On. <laughs>